This is just going to be some good optionality for investors who are excited about AWS and the opportunity they can bolt on a new business. But that business probably isn't going to yield anything for at the earliest five years and more likely 10 years out. The approach that Amazon is taking now here at the Center for Quantum Computing is a bit different than what other companies are pursuing. It's promising, but whether it'll really pan out, we're not sure. A company like Amazon can afford to take that type of risk. I'm impressed by the extent to which the Amazon leadership appreciates that this is a long-term enterprise. What has been the message uh, from CEO Andy Jassy? How involved is he at the Quantum Project? So Andy's, you know, very aware of, of our Quantum Program and was here at the beginning, uh, its initiation. And so he's involved and we do meet with Andy to talk about our, our Quantum Program. They don't understand the technical parts, but they're well aware of the, you know, how hard the challenge is. They can, they understand that this is going to take some time and, and it will take quite a bit of resources. I applaud Amazon. This is the first time I can think of that the company has really embraced some cutting edge hardware tech. They're late to the game, but again, we're still so early in this that the fact that they're late really doesn't change their likelihood of success here. This is still, by any measure, extremely early in the quantum phase.